Hey everybody, welcome back to A Gentleman's Life. It's Sam. Today we're going to cover my uh, adventure medical kit, the uh, Mountain Series Weekender. Uh, that was requested, so we're covering it. So I will turn the camera around without further ado, uh, and we'll get to it after the wristwatch check. So today I am wearing the Explorer 1, the 36 mil, and uh, yeah, perfect. Such a great watch. Best all-arounder I think I've ever had. Anyways, without further ado, we'll turn the camera around and get to it. All right, welcome back everyone. A gentleman's life. We are out in the garage gym today and we're gonna do a video that was requested. Uh, taking a look at one of my med kits. This is the one I mentioned in the last backpacking video. So this is the Adventure Medical Kits, as you can see up here in the top right corner the Mountain Series uh, Weekender. And this is the one I keep with me when I go like truck camping, backpacking, stuff like that. For anything just kind of routine outdoors care that's not major trauma, I do have a separate kit for that, um, which maybe I'll cover another time, I, I don't know yet. That's uh, The other kit is an imminent, imminent threat solutions kit with some own additions of my own. But this is the, uh, the Weekender. Uh, the only thing I bring in addition to this is usually I do have um, a tourniquet uh, anyways, but otherwise I just bring this kit and I think it's just fine. So we'll go into it I always get re-reminded of everything in here when you do it. So there'll be a little adventure together So we'll get to it All right, so You can see this is meant for like camping uh, multiple people multiple days kind of situation and you Open it up and it kind of folds out like this and We're just gonna use my Yeti cooler to go through this video so we'll start top to bottom is what we'll do. So the top section, you can see here it's labeled wound care, burn, and blister. Uh, the, there is one thing missing from this that was there, and that is the burn cream. Uh, that is the one thing out of the kit so far that I have actually used. So I have not replaced that yet, but burn cream was in here and is no longer in here. So if we go into this top section for the wound care, burn, and blisters. We'll like kind of pull stuff out and get a view here. So these are just a bunch of different kind of uh, simple bandages and this pocket uh, right here <clears throat> and you can see we've got um, these are kind of like those shaped bandages and uh, a bunch of different kinds here more shaped bandages you can see quite a few of each type here these are most most of them are the shape band these are kind of more the rectangular style you can see there squares and rectangles. But it's a mix of different, and then there's this shape as well. So it's like three different shapes, it looks like, in this category for kind of simple, small bandage care. So I'll slide those back in. I and mean, those are pretty self-explanatory, I think, for anyone who's used to band-aids. You know, it's the same type of thing. Uh, basically, uh, band-aid style bandages, three different shapes slash sizes there. Um, and those all slide into that pocket. So we'll get those in there. And they've got it all separated out really nice, which is one reason I like this. Um, building my own medical kit, I can kind of have more leeway, but sometimes I just want something that's simple I can go purchase, and it's already kind of well thought out, and I find that AMK kits are, are perfect for that kind of thing. All right, down in this bottom pocket here, we've just got these wound closure strips. So that would be like, and if um, you need something to help close a wound, like if someone would have needed stitches, but you're out in the wilderness, you could use those. So that's really nifty to have. Because right, definitely have, you know, if you're using axes, big knives to process firewood. You never know if something might happen. Um, so you got those. We've also got a nice roll of uh, duct tape here. And it's made, probably not duct tape brand, but that's what it is. It's duct tape. So that's in there. Because there's this back pocket. So it's these three side ones and then the big back pocket. When I pulled the burn cream out, it may not have quite put all of this stuff back in the right place, and maybe there's something in here I can't remember. Along with the duct tape, we have kind of more the white kind of cloth adhesive tape. And then we've got some uh, roller gauze, some gauze bandages, uh, which can be good to cover burns or can be used to uh, package uh, kind of a big gaping wound that won't stop bleeding. And pack it full of gauze try to get the bleeding to stop and use for either of those things so you've also got here again like uh, the sterile sponges of multiple sizes here this one's an adhesive 
three by four, three by four adhesive. Um, this one I believe is another, uh, yeah, sterile, sterile sponge. We've got um, here like moleskin, so for like blisters in the foot, uh, bigger the sterile sponges. Uh, we got a wound care blister card. So for those, because, um, so the thing with medical stuff, right? Like I've had essentially like trauma medical training being in the military. And then I did like, when I was younger, you learned about like blisters and simple care. But like in a high pressure situation, if you haven't dealt with it consistently or often, you often don't remember exactly what to do. So here you can see it goes into uh, cuts and abrasions, irrigating the wound, wound closure, and so on. And it, it kind of gives you uh, assistance so you have something to turn to. And then the back is a whole nother set of stuff, including the blisters, like I mentioned down here, showing you what to do. So um, having something like this to reference can be really helpful if it's something you haven't dealt with consistently or maybe you've only done it once or twice in your life. Um, additionally, um, there is two other things in here. We've got antiseptic towelettes and we have uh, iodine solution. So that was all in that back pouch. Just get all that put away. Cape and bandages. Um, my trauma kit does have specifically um, quick cloth bandages, but for just a s standard outdoors kit, I didn't feel like that was entirely necessary. All right, we do have the single use, so you can um, pull that out. I'm not going to pull it because that's I mean, single use, right? And we get into the next pouch, and here we've got uh, basically manual medications and instruments. So, we'll pop that open. I'm not gonna pull everything out. Um, you can kind of see down in here, uh, we've got some safety pins there. We've got a pair of, small pair of the shears. I have a bigger pair um, uh, in my trauma kit. So I have those in both kits, very, very important and helpful. And then here we've got uh, Latex free, and you can see here the little te the temperature thermometer for taking the temperature. Got those in there. And then, oh, come on. I'm trying to get it out here. Oof. Here we've got a little pair of like uh, tweezers, clippers for being able to get in and pull like out, pull ticks out of the leg or something like that, which I have had a tick dig quite into my leg. We had to use something like this and uh, like a, a match to burn it out first so the head didn't get stuck. So that's a real thing to worry about. Um, in the past year, the only thing I've used is burn cream, which I've had a couple instances in my life of kind of shitty burns in the outdoors. Uh, here you can see like that, the after bite, relief from inside bites in there. And is that all that's in here? I forget if there's anything else in here besides the insect relief, bite relief. Um, yeah, we've also got some acetaminophen, which is essentially Tylenol. A couple packets of that. And we've got uh, the aspirin separately, which means I'm, I'm guessing we also have ibuprofen. Yep, ibuprofen. Uh, oop, there we are. And also Dramamine. Not dramamine, I'm sorry, uh, an antihistamine. Uh, I was still thinking of um, banked uh, in turbulence for six hours and needing dramamine. That's not a bad thing to have, too. Um, I mean, I don't really have a problem with that flying anymore because I've kind of worked past it. Um, even once you work past it, sometimes a day, a day flying can get so bad anyways. Um, what else we got down in here? I missed a couple that fell out. Uh, we've also got a hydrochloride as well. Uh, oops. I don't remember that one, so I have to look that one up again because I honestly don't remember. Oh, that one's for diarrhea. Okay. See, that's why I don't remember it. I've generally avoided that out in the wilderness with a couple exceptions, but for the most part. All right. That's something you don't want when you're out in the wilderness, though, let me tell you. And then here again, we've got uh, medications. So like with the last pouch, we've got a card that's telling you, you know, like for, for pain and fever inflammation, what you should take and 
so on, allergic reactions, what you should take, you know, pain, heart attack, insect bites, etc. So you got a little card to reference, and if it's something like more serious, especially like say it's a snake bite or bug bite, and it's bad allergic reaction, uh, in this pouch is also the patient card, so like if you do have to call to get someone to back the like, helicopter out, um, before they get there, you can treat them out of your kit, and then you can provide this to the medical personnel who show up to, to pull them out by a helicopter or something. And it just says, like, hey, what's the issue? When did this happen? You know, um, what did you provide them or do to help them? And that kind of stuff. So they can better be treated by the medical professionals once they take over. So that's actually an important thing a lot of people don't think about. Because essentially, like, um, my capabilities, knowledge base, and gear is tailored to uh, basically stopping someone from dying or um, relieving minor issues, right? And, and I'm either relieving a minor issue till it goes away, or I'm, I'm um, essentially um, dealing with enough to keep someone alive long enough for someone who really knows what they're doing to, to, to help them, right? That's, that's what my medical stuff's for. So all of my you know, choices are based around that. All right, we've also got here the triangular bandage, and we've got a um, uh, guide for, again, wilderness and travel medicine. You can see it's um, a bunch of information in here. So gunshot wounds, arrow injuries. So there's just, it goes over a lot of different stuff you may need to use. So that's really nice to have in there as well. Again, like we get, we can't if we don't deal with it all the time. That's not our job. We don't remember off the top of our head a lot of times what to do in a given situation. So having something to reference is a good thing. Although that book is not necessarily something I want to reference in real time in a serious situation, but it's good to have. The cards are better for that. All right, the bottom pouch that folds up. We've got two different things here: bleeding CPR and fracture strain. So. Here we are, we've got the CPR card on what you're supposed to do. And we've got um, uh, the combine pad, Oop, there we go. And the breathing barrier. Now this is uh, just one of those plastic breathing barriers to put a barrier between um, your saliva and theirs essentially. But that's a really helpful thing. And I've got another one of those that's, that goes with my trauma kit. And then a pair of uh, nitride gloves, which I've got a whole uh, box just of those to replace on my own, the purple ones, um, to like replace myself. All right, and then fracture and strain. This one's I feel like it's kind of lacking here, but for the size of the kit, it's not surprising. And that's why I have like my trauma kit for when that might happen. And in this case, we literally just have a sterile elastic bandage. And then again, a card on how to deal with it. Now, that's kind of okay in this situation because I'm not out backpacking in the wilderness. I can, you know, uh, use sticks or something and create improvised splints if I had to. Not a big deal. My trauma kit, I include one of the roll up um, splint um, things that you, I forget what they're called, but they kind of are foam and bendable. You can bend them like around an ankle or something like that. And I include that as well. Uh, but I don't bother with this. You know, like, that's the whole kit, really. Uh, but for normal outdoorsy use and outdoor purposes, uh, that carries enough, you know? Um, you don't really need more. And as you can see, uh, let me zip it up really quick. It fits here into a pretty small package and it makes it really easy to throw in your backpack or in the back of your truck and use it when you've got, you know, overlanding, truck camping, or... Um, backpacking and here's a list of everything that's supposed to be in there so you can kind of reference that on the back um, good quality um, and you know like for the most part I would say 99% of the time this is all you're ever gonna need if you're out in the wilderness so that's why I have that and then again like I said I also then have my trauma kit for which I like to keep in the truck and then only if I'm going into certain environments do I bring it like when I go backpacking and stuff out of leave the truck and that's specifically for trauma stuff, and that's to help deal with things more like someone falling and breaking um, breaking something, um, um, animal attack, 
uh, car wrecks, uh, gunshots, like that kind of stuff is what the trauma kit is meant to deal with. Whereas this is more of like your standard, just normal outdoors issues. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. That was my medical kit, the uh, Adventure Medical Kits Weekender from the Mountain Series. Great kit, in my opinion. Um, obviously, like, I think you can build better kits if you just build your own. But a lot of times, they're just kind of like, I don't want to make the effort to do so when, some, and when there's a good enough product. And I think the, the AMK Mountain Series, for me, in general, tends to be the, the kind of kit where I'm willing to um, just buy the kit instead of build it myself. Like I mentioned, I do have a trauma kit. And I bought a kit and then added like three, four, five things to it. Um, so that one was kind of like a mix of both, and that one works really well for me too. I like it. Um, and those are my two medical kits, and that's what I roll with. So, um, yeah, that this was the kind of look and slash review of uh, the AMK Weekender. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Hopefully, I will see you guys again in the next one.